as the development of internet. Social media has taken over our lives and social networking has been expanding quickly over the globe. People nowadays are spending more time on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Nowadays, young generation like to get attention on the internet by sharing the funny videos and beautiful selfie, and some of them become the online celebrities. But there is a new kind of online celebrities is rising. Jen Lau, better known as Jen Chuck, is a famous blogger, model, brand spokesperson, entrepreneur, Instagrammer, and DJ. She has 522k followers on Instagram. In 2009, Jen Chuck started to become a blogger. In 2016, she was known as Malaysia's top two most popular and beautiful social influencer who shares about her social life on her blogs, such as the fashion events that she attends and the places that she travels to overseas. At first, she was a blogger to share the beauty and some daily life. Gradually, she found her position. It was slowly noticed by everyone and began to be loved by everyone. Her unique fashion style and diverse charm have made her a famous blogger. Besides, she is a key player in the fashion industry in Malaysia because she is good at collocation and styling. And she has successfully attracted famous brands to compete with her. For example, in 2015, she co-branded a series of costumes with H&M. She has worked as a model for Uniqlo in 2017. She also traveled to Paris with Omega to celebrate the launch of Omega, her time exhibition in the same year too. In addition, she was one of the likes of Make a Promise, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, ambassadors that attended the Louis Vuitton KLCC store opening ceremony. She actively interacts with fans and also share OOTD and some fashion tips with the audiences too. My name is Tan Ming Chen and I'm a big fan of Jen Chuck. I start following her when I start create my own Instagram account and I follow her blog post through her Facebook page. Uh, sometimes she will post some makeup tutorial and skincare routine video on Facebook blog and it, it really teach me a lot of this. The most fun part is I can enjoy her giveaway section and she always gives away some present to her fans and I know a lot of place for vacation through her blog. Because she is the Malaysia leading blogger and I saw a lot of diversification, de personal development. My name is Chan Zilun and I'm Jane Chak fan since high school. Um, I started follow her when I realized she is the owner of random food store that I had visited last time.
um, she posts a lot of good quality photos and some fashion ODD that is quite eye-catching. I have learned some posing and photography skills from her photos. She is very slim and pretty. She motivated me to keep fit and dress well. Furthermore, she is a DJ. All major manufacturers will invite her to DJing. She has shown her multi-charm side to the audiences. She is good at controlling the atmosphere. She will steer the audience to the highest point. This is one of the main reasons for her to have a large fan base. Besides of Jen Chang, there is a new kind of online celebrities is rising in Malaysia. Puchin is one of new generation online celebrities who is well known among stationary lovers and fans of journaling. Puichin, I'm a stationery enthusiast. Um, I have loved stationery since very young and only started to fall very deeply into this adult stationery since five years ago. Puichin has her own working space and she decorated her space by herself. I love taking photos, um, if you're talking specifically about those photos in my journal, uh, I usually take photos to remember better, so those are like special moments that I treasure. So I usually, when you see those photos in my, in my journal, they are usually faces, which when I'm with my friends and family, and I also love taking photos of my creation in a way, honouring the time we have spent to create things. And this is how Pui Chin edits her photos, which is going to upload on Instagram and share with her fans. Talking about interaction, I guess it's more about um, it's about being responsive. So usually, when there's comments, we reply and then or through direct messages. Yeah, because um, 
my audience, they are eighty percent overseas, so it's very hard to like have face face to face uh, interactions. So, but for locals, we usually have um, journal gathering also. So that's where we meet and get to see each other in real. Sometimes Poichin runs workshop to meet up with her local fans. This year is also those handmade papers of different floral or yeah, leaves. And this is the empty paper. Usually we have gatherings and also I usually run workshops and with brands that allow people to come in and join and get to know hands-on, uh, getting to learn those tips from me. You guys take first. You, yeah, you can just tear off. You can see tear. It's like no okay. kind of. <coughs> and then. Two, two, also shares about the tools, materials, papers that she used for her journals. Besides, her fans also can learn how to do the journals from her. This is a platform that they will make the journal together. I think that Preaching is a very uh, creative person. Um, her artworks are very delicate. Um, it's very simple, um, yet it has her her own style, her own taste. Um, and I think that she's also a very good storyteller because through her arts and crafts, uh, she's able to show her fans, her audiences, and uh, just take them into her memories. Um, so I think that's the best part that I love about her artwork. Uh, honestly, I don't remember specifically when I started to follow her online, but um, all I could remember that it was during my uh, secondary school years. Um, at that time, I have a bunch of friends back in Penang who are also very uh, interested in arts and crafts, and we stumbled upon her page online and we started to follow her. And um, at first, I didn't really thought about uh, doing it myself. I just glance um, and 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 view her artwork for fun. But then um, sooner or later, I feel that um, I probably could try doing it myself. And also another thing is that uh, preaching she's very, uh, she's always selflessly uh, sharing um, the materials that she used with her fans. So um, that really motivate me to get the materials myself and um, actually try it out. I think as years uh, gone by, she's becoming better at curating her Instagram feed. Um, she not only posts like one art journal, her art journal, or she or just flip through but she actually um, designed and uh, arranged the entire uh, photo layout to make it look more presentable and aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Instead of skills, I would say it's more about the heart of wanting to do it because there are so many different ways and style of doing it so we just have to get our hands dirty.
I have started sharing my works online since about five years, five years ago. Like as soon as I started have my journal, journal book, I, I start sharing them online. I have a, I have a full time job before and only quit recently, like two months ago. So I guess that's yeah. Puchin is a full-time online celebrity now by sharing her crafts and journals to her fans. So at first, uh, I kind of see this like uh, like Instagram is a platform for me to um, document my my creation. Like when I create something that I'm happy with, and I take a pictures of it and put it uh, like upload them in. So it's like a portfolio of gathering bits and pieces of my works. As of now, I will continue sharing my works online but whether or not will I continue or would I full-time be a so-called influencer, I'm not sure yet um, since um, I have just quit my job so like I'm still trying to get use of it but I do like the idea of going back to workforce where I can still be exposed to different things, different learnings and in different industry. Yeah. Um, recently, I've also have my book, uh, first book, personal book published by a Taiwan publisher. So far, it's quite positive. Um, since this book is published by a Taiwan publisher, so the language in there is uh, traditional Mandarin, and we have recently sold um, the copyright to um, China, and it's going to be translated into simplified Mandarin and also Korean for to cater for different markets. Yeah. Hui Chin has increased her reputation after she shares her crafts and journals on the social media. She got a chance to publish her own book and not only publish in Malaysia but also in Taiwan and Korea. The publisher held a book launch event for her and there are many fans attend to support her new book. My name is Ijin. I've been a fan of preaching for easily, I think, one and a half years until now. Yeah. Uh, as well as I said, I think I've followed her for easily one and a half years, ever since I started doing travel journals. So, how did she influence me? This is a very good question. Uh, I bought a book. If you didn't know, she wrote a book. Uh, it's in Chinese, uh, unfortunately. But she wrote a book, and in that book, it really teaches you how to, how her way of doing things and how she does a travel journal and also other tricks and tips on or even hacks how can you do a travel journal even nicely or to suit a style that is to your own yeah through following Hui Chun on Instagram Hui Chun motivate Yi Jin to make a journal nicely and strengthen the skill of making the journal There was an event where we were working together, I would say. Uh, she was teaching how to do journalism and I was teaching how to do calligraphy. So, yeah, we had a small bit up and I remember she wrote on one of my pages, yeah, something like this. Yeah. But in Chinese, uh, yeah. So, she basically tells, like, what I wrote on my book, yeah. Puchin attracts the fans who love to make the journal as passionate as she is, besides of publish her own book, and what did her popularity bring to her? By sharing my works online, um, in a way good is more people get to see what I have created and also I am more exposed to different opportunities like be able to work with different brands like Acid Lauder for content creation, Muji workshops, Fujifilm um, to promote their products and that's where I still manage to sustain myself for my hobby, yeah.
The popularity of Poichin that gained on Instagram led her has an opportunity to collaborate with some famous brands. The benefit of journaling um, is a way of honouring our soul, let the voices to be out. As for crafting, I guess it's very therapeutic for those people who craft, um, you will know it, like by picking your stamps, stickers, putting them into one picture and added some text. It's just so fun to do. As for a recipient, I believe then they will feel extra special and love since someone spent so much time crafting and creating this for them, like something handmade. Yeah. In this new media generation, Poichin as one of the new generation rising online celebrities has successfully put her own hobby as a career through sharing her crafts and journals on social media. There are many online celebrities arising in Malaysia and they are leading the career of online celebrities and successfully raised fame among the young generation. They lead the career of online celebrity to more young people and create a new media generation.